At the moment that he believed he could do what he did, was my main goal is to make sure that I knew he was capable to go and shock the world, and he did. Imagine going up against the inventors of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the legendary Gracie family. It's a challenge that most fighters wouldn't even dream of attempting, but there's one American who not only dared to take on the Gracies, but actually defeated them. Who is this fighter who made history and defeated the unbeatable? Do you know that this warrior defeated one of the top fighters of the Gracie family? Not just once, but almost again in the second match, only to be saved by the bell. But who is this mysterious legend? None other than the twister, Eddie Bravo. Get ready to discover the incredible story of the man who shocked the world of BJJ and became a true legend in the sport. Chapter 1. Eddie's Early Days Edgar A. Cano was born in Santa Ana, California on May 15, 1970. His last name was originally Cano, but he later changed it to Bravo after his stepfather's surname. Eddie has had a lifelong love of music. He played the drums and the guitar. He always wanted to become a famous musician. By playing football, he also discovered that he loved sports. He then joined his high school wrestling team. Chapter 2. The Beginning of His BJJ Career After witnessing the success of Hoist Gracie in the UFC, Eddie Bravo started to take Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu classes under the guidance of the legendary John Jack Machado. I was in a low point in my life, but luckily I pulled through it. And for me, luckily I didn't have to do it, but I was training for just in case. Eddie quickly achieved blue belt status in 1998 and developed his own unique submission move, the twister, from a classic wrestling position. This position consisted of putting an immense pressure on the neck and back, thus forcing the opponent to tap. After a year of hard work, he was awarded his purple belt and quickly began practicing his skills in a new variation of the open guard now known as the rubber guard. It's on the streets or an MMA, because you got to keep his posture broken. He believed this type of guard to be more effective in MMA and no-gi situations, and with relentless practice, he continued to perfect his technique. Chapter 3. The ADCC That Made Him Famous Eddie Bravo won the 66-kilogram division of the North American ADCC trials, defeating Mark Ashton, Sean Kreisa, and Alan Teo. His victory earned him the chance to compete against the best grapplers in the world at the ADCC 2003 tournament. His first match was against Gustavo Dantes, whom he defeated via a rear naked choke. Many believe that that was the biggest upset, but what they didn't know was that even bigger surprises were yet to come. In the quarterfinals, Eddie Bravo went up against formidable four-time world champion and three-time ADCC champion, Hoyler Gracie. With Hoyler being the top Gracie at 66 kilograms, having won gold medals in the ADCCs of 1999, 2000, and 2001, he was the clear favorite to win the match and division. However, Eddie surprised the crowd and shocked the grappling world by submitting Hoyler with a triangle choke as the Gracie attempted one of his famous knee-sliding guard passes. Eddie's victory earned him a big name and fame, as defeating a Gracie is no easy feat. In the semifinals, Eddie was unable to secure victory against BJJ master Leo Vieira, thus ending his impressive run at the ADCC. Eddie Bravo made waves in the MMA world when he defeated Hoyler Gracie at the Abu Dhabi Combat Club World Championship in 2003. This shocking win sparked a fierce rivalry between the Gracie family and Eddie. Chapter 4. Creation of Tenth Planet Upon his return, Jean-Jacques Machado awarded him a black belt in recognition of his achievement. 
Hello, my name is Eddie Bravo, founder of 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu, a global martial arts association with headquarters based in downtown Los Angeles. Eddie Bravo then founded 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu in Los Angeles, a school that specialized in no gi training and earned a reputation as being outside of mainstream Jiu Jitsu. Eddie Bravo's 10th Planet system made its mark in the grappling world. The revolutionary system, developed by the master himself, took the grappling world by storm, quickly becoming one of the most successful grappling schools in the U.S. and beyond. I invite you to come to one of our locations around the world and learn this unique system of martial arts where size and strength are overcome by science. Thanks to Eddie Bravo's savvy coaching and hard work, as well as the support of his friends and MMA commentator Joe Rogan, 10th Planet saw its reputation grow from strength to strength, becoming a staple in the competitive grappling scene. Eddie Bravo's legendary Jiu-Jitsu Academy got a major boost thanks to Joe Rogan's UFC broadcasts and his popular podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience. Tenth Planet was really a, a hub of exciting innovation, and still is, but I mean, back then it was this really unique thing, the completely no-gi branch of Jiu-Jitsu that's directly connected to Junjong Machado. He helped spread the word about Eddie's technique and style to a much wider MMA audience, bringing a massive following to the Academy's doorstep. Chapter 5 the anticipated rematch. After almost 11 years, BJJ legends Eddie Bravo and Hoyler Gracie reignited their rivalry at Metamorris 3 with a highly anticipated 20-minute submission-only match. In the end, the fight resulted in a draw, with Eddie coming close to a finish. And it may very well be there's a lot of pressure there in the ankle. Seconds. I'll tell you right now. Both fighters left the cage with a newfound respect for one another. Before we continue with the video, be sure to subscribe and comment I subbed to enter in our monthly shout-out giveaway. Let's keep going with the video now. Chapter 6 Creation of EBI Eddie launched the Eddie Bravo Invitational in 2014 to advance no-gi grappling to new levels. The tournament has attracted some of the best grapplers in the sport, including Gio Martinez, Gary Tonin, Gordon Ryan, Craig Jones, and Nick Rodriguez. EBI is now one of the most prominent BJJ tournaments. Eddie Bravo has brought a revolution in grappling through his focus on no-gi jiu-jitsu. His goal was to give fighters an opportunity to focus on techniques relevant to the cage without the need to wear a gi. His approach emphasizes systematic learning, unlike most schools which teach technique in isolation and let students figure out how to connect them during rolling. That's the key, is to get that clinch you know, the number one goal in your, in your grappling. As soon as you get your clinch on, whether you got the underhooks or overhooks, you got somewhere to go. And that's what 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu is all about. He is a true pioneer of the sport of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He defied expectations and shocked the world when he defeated the unbeatable Gracie family and followed his own path. He developed his own unique style, the 10th Planet system, and is credited with bringing no-gi Jiu-Jitsu to the mainstream. With his innovative techniques, Eddie Bravo has made a lasting impact on the world of grappling and martial arts. His legacy will continue to inspire and challenge martial artists for generations to come. And I thought, let me build an empire.